Hey, what's up? Welcome to Running Mail number 20. From Destiny. You should know that by now. Um, check out Phoenix Collections, the people that are sponsoring me right now, uh, the, the Nashida Mouse. On the bottom, I linked it in the information. Um, it's cool shit. I think they're out of stock right now, though, but check it out anyway. Get some on back order. Lay away, you know, however you, however you want to roll that. Um, I just woke up a bit ago. Okay. Top five questions. These are posted every week in my, uh, subreddit. Uh, reddit.com slash r slash destiny. It'll say, like, destiny weekly top five Q&A number 20. Questions in here for 21. You can post your questions there. Upvote what you want to hear. Downvote what you don't want to hear. Report stuff that you want me to waste time looking at. Whatever you want to do. Alright, our first question comes from Desro. <laughs> Fishing for compliments. What is your best memory from Poland outside streaming? I mean, I've been streaming like 14 hours a day every day since I've been here, so I haven't really done too much outside of streaming. Um, hanging out with Nathan, I guess? I, I don't know. I, I've been streaming pretty much the entire time I've been here. I haven't, done, I haven't gone around and done too much stuff yet. Uh, getting to know the tram system is kind of interesting. Being from kind of from a rural community, is Omaha rural? Rural enough. Um, we don't really have a lot of public transportation, so riding around all the trams and everything is kind of cool. Um, number two, Sup Noob Dud 206 asks, Will you ever play a game of LOL with Chad Minigun Big Bones Jones? Uh, maybe someday. I, I don't know if Chad plays LOL that much anymore. I, I haven't seen him on in a while. But, yeah. I mean, if he wants to in the future, maybe sometime, yeah. But like I said, I think he's focusing a lot on StarCraft 2 and school, so I don't know. Question number three from dot dot dot. You're moving back to the States pretty soon, right? In two weeks? What are your plans looking like for the holidays in early 2013? I really don't celebrate holidays. Um, sometimes I get dragged off begrudgingly to events, and then I sneak out as quickly as possible, and then I just go home and play games. I re I'm really not a holiday... I'm not much of an any day person. I kind of just play games all day. I think it was my birthday today? Yesterday? Today. today. So, like, I'm celebrating that by streaming League of Legends. And then I'll probably celebrate Christmas by streaming League of Legends. It's the 12th, so today. And then, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm just I'm not a big holiday person, man. Screw holidays. Um, the next question is from Catman789. The amount of viewers wasn't a factor. What other games would you like to play professionally? Um, probably exclusively StarCraft 2, just because I've sunk so much time into it. Although League is kind of fun, but probably StarCraft 2. Is that four? That was four questions. Question number five from Andreek1243. We're the first, like, 1,242 names. Yeah. I heard you talk briefly about casting in StarCraft 2. Although you are more devoted to getting better in League of Legends, do you think if you can spend at least some time to cast StarCraft 2 games? Do you think? Do you think you can spend at least some time to cast StarCraft 2 games? I personally think that spending some time to cast at least a game per day would be great for your old StarCraft 2 fans. Also in casting, you can get as casual as you want and people will still enjoy it. Example. Oh, link an example. Destiny casting Bronze League games. Oh god, I remember that. Um... I don't know, man. I, I, communities are like really toxic towards one another. Like I get a lot of hate in the StarCraft community now since I play League, just because of how I set up my brand and how I established myself originally. Like as a StarCraft II player, I'm not like a caster like DJ Weed who can go off into a bunch of different games and be okay. Um, so I, I don't know. I, I mean, I might try to do that. I don't know. We'll, we'll see in the future. The future is mysterious and can hold wonderful things. So I don't know. We'll see. Um. Like I said, if you, if you have any more questions or whatever, that was my five questions. If you have any more questions, go to my subreddit, reddit.com slash r slash destiny. There'll be a post called Destiny Weekly Top 5 Q&A number 20. Questions here for 21, you can post there. Upvote the ones you want to hear, downvote the ones you don't want to hear. Um, yeah, check out phoenixcollections.com. The Nishida Mouse is really cool. I'm getting new stuff from them in a week when I get home, too. And I'll pimp that out as long as it doesn't suck. What are you going to get? A mouse pad. And apparently they're making a keyboard too. Thank God. Here's your bonus Monday mail tip of the fucking week for your life. Don't ever buy black keys on a keyboard. Oh my God. It's like the worst typing ever. Like, there's absolutely no difference in feel or sound between black keys and dome keys. I don't know why black mechanical keys even exist. 
Like, it's it, it, it's like self-defeating. Like, the whole reason you get McKinney, it's like, it's like a condom without a top on it. Like, it completely doesn't make any sense at all. Like, why just get a normal dome, dome keyboard for 20 bucks, if you, or five bucks, if you just want a keyboard? Don't ever get anything with black keys, ever, period. Blues, browns, or reds are the way to go. There might be another kind in there that I've never talked about before, but th those are like all up to personal preference. Don't ever use a black key, a black switch keyboard, ever. Alright, there you go. I love you very much. Goodbye. Oh my god.